received a phone call from the phone company. It was about uh, the the Wi-Fi, and so it came in just as I had finished Altered Beast. Um, hence the sudden end of the video. So this time we're going to be going to part two. Um, fortunately, I have just sorted things out when it comes to that to the Wi-Fi. So hopefully, uh, everything else should be going should be going okay from this point forward. Even so, we will we will keep, we will keep doing the test with my with my equipment. This time we're go we're going to go with Golden Axe, another classic from the Sega Genesis for the Sega Genesis, ported from the arcade. This is an an actual an action beat 'em up uh, set on a medieval setting, so this should be pretty fun for us all. And now let's get ready to rumble. Okay, we're going to set the options here. We're going to increase the light meter right here up to five units. This will make it a little easier for us here. Now then, let's tackle the arcade the arcade mode. And we'll be picking the first character, Axe Battler. Okay, that's just the beginning. Now we're going to have to fight against Death Adder and his insidious forces. Oh no, this is not good. Right now I'm getting my ass kicked. And sometimes the the hit the hit detection can go in favor to the bad guy sometimes, so you need to be able to be on a certain rage in order to hit them. Because otherwise, this happens! Also, when you're hitting someone, someone, they'll try to get you to the back by ramming you. But we're not gonna make it easier for them. That's for sure. There's been a good number of games that Sega has ported to the Genesis, which was probably one of the biggest draws for the console in the late 80s and early 90s. And then, well, the enter Sonic the Hedgehog. And the rest is history. It was, it was quite... That was quite a time, the 16-bit era. A fun time for everyone involved, even if you own a Nintendo, Super Nintendo, or Sega Genesis. Because, well, because of the intense competition between Sega and Nintendo, there, there have been a lot of very good, many good games to draw in lots of gamers. Those were great times, indeed. And I remember that I had a Sega, my Sega Genesis along with my with my brother when my when my father bought it for us. It was around Christmas, I think it was Christmas of 1990 or 91. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it was, but I'm sure it was between those two years. And well, let's just say it was the best Christmas day ever. I'm sure many of you would agree. Okay, now we're, go we're just going to take on the first boss over on this particular beast and we're going to take on these large bald mother monsters with those big big war hammers they're wearing. In, in my opinion they kind of look like na Napa's long long lost relatives. Hmm. I wonder if I'm actually taking some Sagans. But anyway, by using this right beast, if you, if you don't lose it, you can be able to kick their ass. So, that wasn't too hard, all considered, not a bad way to start. Now you get a, a mini bonus round in which these little thieves sneak around to steal your, your, your magic bottles. And when you hit them, you'll be able to earn more. In some stations, you'll be able to hit one green thief that gives you a restoring item. Now then, we're going to take on the second stage, which is at Turtle Village. And one has to be careful because things can get a little hairy in, this, in such games here. Okay, this guy thinks he can kick my ass. We're going to teach him different. And bam! He just got thrown into the water, never to return. And now it's this guy's turn to swim with the fishes. Oh, just a little closer and bam! Bye-bye, sleep with the fishes. You deserve it. Ow! Got tackled there. Nope. 
You know, I gotta catch me this time. Woo! It's a good thing that when you start throwing someone, you're invincible for that for that frame, of, for the animation frame when you're picking them up. So that can be that could become in handy, but you need to but you need to be able to time it carefully so that you don't get hit by the incoming enemies. Okay, these villagers are, are running away from danger, which is good. We, we, don't, we don't want any more to die, and whoa! Well, looks like the villagers are starting moving. And we need to take out these foes by using this fire breathing wire, this fire breathing break. There we go. Those guys are done for. Now here comes a thief. Well, don't know why they want to wait for a thief, since he's been very minuscule and he's just having many potions. He's been taken care of. Now we're going to take on the bosses, which are just a, some a few minor enemies. Let's take on this guy, and now we're going to score first blood against the uh, uh, these wo female warriors. Be very careful because they can bushwhack you and then steal the piece from you like they just did. But then I gotta have a fun. Now they get to burn. Now we're going to, to take on a couple more female warriors and this is the worst enemy of them all, the skeleton warriors. Those are total douchebags and if you're not too careful, they may kill you. Okay, those have been taken care of and oh, there's the green thief. If you hit him, you'll be able to have a restoring item. If, you, if this one restores a full uni life unit, this is important, especially when in two player games. Okay. This bonus round is over and done with. Now we're going to take on the third stage. And yep, the bear got his name because it was on the back of a giant turtle. And it takes it gives us a ride across the sea to the other side of the land. Okay, time to get down to business. Give me that! Ow! Face. Huh. I, huh. I guess the female warrior died a grisly death on the pit. No big loss, really. Now I gotta be careful, I'm gonna die. Woo! Ah, I couldn't kill the thief. Well, no matter. I still got the fire, I still got the fire drink. Okay, time to burn some... Well, you know. There we go. I know I'm being a little cheap, but Golden Axe isn't exactly an easy game, even if it's a classical game. So, you, take, you can't make any compromises. Okay, now we're getting those evil bad guys again. But we're gonna burn them. Ow! 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 I just lost my big chance to beat them. Oh, rough it up, why don't ya? Okay. Ow! Hammer to the head, never good. Especially because concussions are not fun, are no fun at all. But fortunately, those guys were wicked enough by the fire drake. So, they were easy pickets now. Hey, get back here! Give me some of that potion! I need some! Okay. Now we take on these guys. They may seem, they may seem ye yellow, goldish color, but they're not that tough. If you're, if you're careful enough, that is. Anyway, we need to make sure to, 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 take, them, to take them quickly so they don't take too much life from you. Ow! Couldn't get away. Ow! Can't touch the most of my friends. But that's two down now. Three down. And we go, we take on this, this large iron knight. First we need to make sure to take on, to take out his, his cohorts. Ow! Mission unsuccessful. Ow. 
Ow! What a pushback! Okay. The minion's down. Now, Gob. Gob, be very good. Be careful. carefully. Ow! This guy's sword takes one, one unit out of your life! Ow! And the shield isn't too bad either. But I'm still not gonna give up. This is the for, for the fourth round after all, and... Ow! Man, I'm about to die. I, but I'm not gonna make it easy for him. The biggest weakness of this guy is that he has his lack of speed, but... Ouch. I should not have been careless. And now I'm gonna have to use the first credit. And now... This is an old game. You get you reach life zero, there's no more chances. You gotta have to make do with what you got. Well, anyway, you gotta be careful. You gotta take into account the, the positioning and then use that to my advantage to beat this guy. Unfortunately, my attacks won't do much good. There we go. He's down. Hmm. Two green thieves, huh? Always good to have if you're playing two game two in two player mode. Okay, give me some of that. I'm hungry. Okay, that takes care of that. Okay, now we're going to be we're we're ready to round with round four. Alright. More douchebags coming our way. Whoa! Oh! That hurt. Yep, I found a sweet spot. And then this guy counterattacks. Laugh at a while you can. Your history. Okay. Hmm. Giant feathers. I wonder what it means. Anyway, let's take down this douchebag right here. Take this! Oh, hi there, Luke Skyfall. Welcome to my video. It's, uh, it's pleasant to have visitors, even if it's once for a while. Okay, as I am saying, we need to go through this stage and it seems that the wind is picking up. And now I need to take on this, esca this skeleton warrior. Teach this douchebag how we do things downtown. Gotta take advantage of the high ground. Insert the Star Wars meme here, by the way. Okay, here we go. This guy's dead. Now here comes the thief. Get back here, you little bastard. Bye-bye. Now we proceed carefully. Now we take on another one of these warriors. This one is stuck in black. But let's take the advantage of the high ground and beat this guy's ass. Hmm. Pathetic. Okay. Here come two other douchebags who are looking to have some action. They're not gonna get me. Ah. Uh. Uh. That the other guy went down, and this one takes a tumble and dies. Alrighty. Things are looking. Oh, things can look ugly. This is what I mean when it comes to when, when I said that the, the skeleton warriors are tough enemies. They can take a lot of life if you're not too careful with them. Okay, the black warrior held down. Now we need to make sure to take down the skeleton warrior before he causes too much damage. Okay, he's down. Now two, one black, one dark warrior, two skeleton warriors. Ow. Ow. And to throw this guy. Oh. That hurt. Well, anyway, 
you're still around to make a skyfall, I, st I hope that you're enjoying the video, and if you care enough, leave a comment on my YouTube channel. It's right there, and you can be able to see it at any time you want. So, yeah. Okay, by the way, those are the bosses for the stage, by the way. Once you beat them, it does the end. And we will the end. Bonus stage time. I'm gonna get the green feet first. I got the some ju some juicy chicken or roast or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, that should be the end. All right. We're, we're, we're down to the wire now. This is the fifth stage of the game. Now we're, we're, we're having got to, we have gotten across the castle where Death Adder waits. This will not be an easy battle. Okay. The skeleton warrior fell to his doom. This one takes a tumble. Oh ho ho! You thought I was gonna die, weren't you? Ow. Come here, you douchebag. Whoops! He took a tumble as well. Thank you, by the way. It was nice having you. Thank you for the ride. Oh my god! That stupid female warrior just died and she took the dragon with him. With her, I mean. That means I'm gonna have a bad time with the other knights. Kicked. That's bad. Now then, as soon as we're finished, we're finished on this part of the stage, we'll be moving ahead into the castle. Okay, first, but first I gotta take down these mooks again. Get more mooks. This will not be easy. Okay. The next, the next enemy is dead. Ow. Is it just me or these guys look positively Mongolian? Of course, that's just my opinion. Because of their mustache. Ow. And now I'm dead. Just one life left before I have to continue. And these guys are not gonna make it any easier for me. Ugh. Trying to get me to the uh, trying to get me in the back, why don't ya? Good thing those guys can't run. Or be in a, in a lot of trouble. I mean, even the big bold guys are able to run. I guess the armor does make a difference. Okay. So far so good now. Gotta be able to be careful. Position is key. So I can be able to get them. Without, we have, without them having to hit me. Okay. Whoa! I just made a bullet. Okay, that one, that guy is dead. This guy is also dead. Now we're going inside the castle. Hmm, okay. These are the castle gates. More thieves. Man, I wish there were at least some green thieves around here. Would make your life a little easier, but you can't win them all. Probably be a good idea for me if I save up these bottles for later. Just in case. It's not that they're gonna disappear. Oh, okay. I'm gonna take down these mooks. Ow! You're trying to kick me, huh? Oh! Took a hammer to the took a hammer to the face! That's never good. Okay. Two. That's two credits now. Oh, hello, Radio Sandoval. Thank you for checking out the video. I hope you're... I hope you're enjoying this as well with Luke Skyfall. And sorry if I'm not able to answer textually. But if you can still hear me, I'm glad to have you for a visit. So hopefully, I won't be... I won't embarrass myself while you watch this. I have just taken down the mooks, and now I get to take down this bald guy. Gotta be careful though. 
At least he's able to run, not like the other armor guys. And now we got Death Adder coming on with two skeleton warriors. Now it would be a good time to use my magic. There we go. Gotta be careful though. Death Adder is no joke. He's got a big axe and he's not afraid to use it. If I'm able to get rid of this, these guys, they should make it easier. Uh, fantasy Star 4? Oh, uh, maybe another time. Uh, maybe when, once I'm able to make a, uh, uh, a playthrough of the stream. But anyway, I'll take that into account later on. So, thank you for the request though. At the moment, I am. I, this is a test video. So, I'm, I'm making sure that all my equipment are, is able to work out for any and all future videos and streams. So, hopefully, everything will be able to work out. And so far, everything is working out fine, since the Wi-Fi hasn't been cut down. But uh, then again, I am using an Ethernet cable, so I, I, am testing, I am testing that. So from this point forward, I'm going to be using the Ethernet cable for my streams and videos. That should be fun for everyone. Okay, again, I gotta take my care of my positioning. Make sure to use it to my advantage in order to beat Death Adder. And make sure he doesn't kill me. He's on my mercy now. Okay. And since he's not able to go, uh, go, to, go deeper into the into the stage, that means if I corner him, his history, and now he's ancient history now. Do you think it's the end of the game? Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. Anyway, we we managed to rescue the king and princess. Um, no, I'm actually Mexican. I know my voice sounds a little different because of the of the audio, but I can assure you that I'm Mexican. And well, looks like the looks like the king is saying that Death Adder must have must be taking over from someone else. I guess this battle is not over yet. Now we need to get we need to proceed inside the castle and get down to brass hacks. Hopefully, I'll be able to finish it, but. I have a feeling this is not going to be an easy ride, all things considered. Okay, well, I'm going to take these guys down by giving them a tumble. Okay, that worked. Now I gotta go to the other side. Oh! Oh, see? This is why I said that those skeleton wars are douchebags. They want to take, uh, to take up to two life bars uh, when they complete a combo and that's not good at all. Uh, well, I'm not gonna. I, I may sound stereotypical, but I like tacos. I like enchiladas, um, chicken with mowing, um, rice. Well, there's a lot of things that I like when it comes to Mexican food, being honest with you. Uh, I do like a lot of food um, along with Mexican, like say, Italian food, hamburgers, um, pizza, Chinese food. It works. Okay, gotta make sure to take down those guys. Okay, they're taking a tumble. Now I need to gather some magic. I'm gonna be needing it. Hmm. Hmm. I also want to take it. Take. I want to take this guy to a tumble. Hmm. Not to come fine, eh? Ah, uh, Papusa? Uh, well, I'm gonna have to research on that. Uh, since I don't know what Papusa is. But, it must be delicious. I'm sure. Okay. We're gonna have to get a lot of magic. Hopefully that's going to be enough, and okay. We got more skeleton. <laughs> Did you see that? That guy just took a plunge. I have no pity for him. Oh. Think you're so smart, huh? Trying to disguise yourself as statues. Well, that ain't gonna work. And you guys are gonna take a tumble. Ah, look at that. More enemies. We got ourselves a welcome committee here and... Owie. Shit, motherfucker. There we go. That guy's dead. 
Ah, yeah. Very funny. Very funny. Okay. Those guys are dead. Now, we're going to go against the final boss. Deathbringer. Oh boy. This guy is going to be a total doozy. And I say it like this because the skeleton warriors, uh, unlike the other ones I faced, including those at the company Death Adder, they don't die. They just don't die. So, you gotta do your best to avoid them, okay? I just gave some magic that should help be able to bring out uh, damage to Deathbringer. This will not be easy though. Not when those guys, those douches can do this. And then, Deathbringer is a douchebag and a sheep ass of his own. Once he once he, ta he takes you down, he's going to unleash his magic and then try to damage you a lot more with it. That's not good. It never is. But fortunately, he only does that when he hits you. Ugh. Oh no. This is bad news. Ow! The skeleton warrior just killed me. I'm two down. I'm I'm two lives left now. No continues this time, unfortunately. Since I just ran out. Ah, I gotta ward them off somehow. But it's not easy. Oh, favorite Genesis games? Well, I would probably say Revenge of Shinobi, the Sonic, the Sonic the Hedgehog Trilogy, I also like um, Shinobi 3, I like Golden Axe, the number 2 is my personal favorite. Um, uh, I also like Fantasy Star as well, and Galaxy Force 2. There's a lot of games that I like for the Sega Genesis. It will probably take a long time for me to name them all. Uh oh. That bringer has just killed me. I'm down to my last life. Yeah, gotta get away. As you have made, as some of you may have noticed, those skull do douchebags don't die. Oh boy. And this is ugly. Very, very ugly. Oh boy, I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Ouch! That's the end of me, unfortunately. And that's game over. Well, to that, it was a good run. But, that's what happens, man. Oh, Super Fantasy Zone? Well, I heard of that game. It's a pretty nice game. Well... I think that makes that makes it the end of the video now. I wasn't able to finish Golden Axe, but still, I think this test run was a success. So I think I'll be able to use the Ethernet cable from this point on. Well, for those who have visited, for those who have visited me, thank you very much for wa for watching and for for my viewers. Please enjoy, please make sure to like and make a comment on the video. Thank you so much for joining in. I'll be seeing this is Andrew Chaos and I'll be seeing you guys next time. See you soon.